Dear Lord, we gather in this place in a spirit of celebration and gratitude. Thank you for the blessing of bringing Austin and Haley together in marriage today. We ask you to bless their marriage, our families, and all of their relationships. Help them to stay strong in any adversity and to treasure and protect the joy of marriage. May we, as their family and friends, commit to uphold and encourage them to the best of our ability. In Jesus' name, amen. Austin, you finally found yourself someone who enjoys hockey almost as much as we do. Unlike mom. Sorry, dad. It is a pleasure to finally have a sister, and I'm glad to welcome you to the family. If you all could please raise your glasses high in the air and join me in toasting the new Mr. and Mrs. Strip Matter to a long life together filled with happiness, adventure, and lots of wonderful memories. Thank you, family, friends, and honored guests for coming to witness the marriage, Haley and Austin. Obviously, this is a truly special day for them. There has been a great deal of preparation and effort, and might I say, patience, to bring them to this moment. Haley and Austin, you truly complement each other, support one another, and allow the other to flourish. Together you make a wonderful team. And since Haley is the youngest in the family, we've always been very protective of her. But I can wholeheartedly say that Austin, we are honored to welcome you into the Ramser family. It has always been the little things that I appreciate the most about Austin, whether it was inviting me to come stay with him at college, driving me around for soccer, taking me out to lunch, or giving me career advice. I would not be the person I am now without Austin's guidance through life. At times it was difficult to live up to the expectations because he set the bar so high. With the seven year age difference between us, I felt like I had a third parent always watching over me. It is fair to say that brothers do not always see eye to eye growing up, but any grief we gave each other was always offset by the unbreakable bond between us. I, have, I now have come to understand that Austin pushed me so hard so I'd be the best version of myself. It was nice to know that a big role model in my life believed in me. I was in preschool when I found out that I was going to have a little sister. And each week for show and tell, as Haley mentioned, I would bring the sonogram pictures of my little sister Haley. I couldn't wait to meet her. And looking back, I think I knew even before she was born that we would be kindred spirits for life. And I begin now with words from Austin. He says, I admire Haley's unwavering dedication to her convictions. When she has her mind set on something, nothing can get in her way. She's so passionate about her beliefs, doesn't allow others to knock her down if they feel differently. I admire Haley's generosity. She's so involved in giving back and staying connected to the groups she once leaned on. At times, when it all seems too overwhelming, and the easiest step is to distance herself, she then focuses on the positives, 
and how she can make a greater impact only serve to bring them closer to each other, never more deeply in love and committed to the friendship and marriage that you've given them. Let their love for each other and for you grow with each passing day, and may their union always reflect the eternal love that we share through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, we will hear from the bride. I love that we are equal partners in our relationship. We have our strengths and weaknesses and we don't agree on everything, but we each value and respect the opinions and abilities of the other. I tend to be a lot more introverted and reserved. I really admire Austin's ability to put people at ease and have a conversation with anyone. Austin's open-minded and I appreciate that he's willing to try new things with me that are sometimes out of his comfort zone. We don't share all of the same interests, but Austin's always there, encouraging of my hobby, hobbies, passions, and dreams. He's always my greatest defender, my biggest champion. He accepts me exactly as I am, and loves me for all the weird, frustrating, and also the wonderful characteristics that make me who I am. <laughs> On this very beautiful day of celebration and joy, and along with your family, your friends, everyone here, all your honored guests, together, everyone wishing you both many long years of happiness, prosperity, and love. It is my honor and privilege to now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Mr. and Mrs. Street Matter. When I was asked to be his best man, I instantly thought about having to give this speech. My mind was thinking, you only got one brother, and he's only getting married one time, so don't screw this up for him. <laughs> but the more and more I thought about it, I realized it was, it was Austin finally admitting that after all these years of competition and sibling rivalry, that I am the best man. <laughs> One of the things that I love most about Haley is that she always goes above and beyond for her friends, family, and the people or animals that she loves. She is deeply considerate and fiercely loyal. But until you really get to know Haley, you might not realize that she is also incredibly funny. In fact, when Josh and I were first engaged, she decided to anonymously send him cat facts multiple times per day. <laughs>
Please bless this food we are about to receive and let this reception be an honor to you. And when Haley first told me about Austin, I remember her mentioning that in order to go out with her, she had told him that he had to watch all the Harry Potter movies. <laughs> and the fact that he was willing to spend approximately 20 hours of his free time to do this, I think speaks for itself. <laughs> 